Hi, Tapas Fleming here, TATLife.com. I'd like to tell you about a client I worked with. She's actually a mentoring student in the certification program who decided to do 20 sessions for physical condition. See what happened. She's a chemical engineer in the oil and gas industry, and she's worked like out in the ocean on those platforms and at different refineries. So it was very fun for me because she's a very organized, clear thinking person. And so she said, it was interesting to see the results. So back in 2016, she did four or five sessions and she went to see her eye doctor and her vision had improved by 0.25 in one eye. And then over the next year, she did the remaining sessions and went to see her eye doctor again. And her vision in each eye had improved 0.25 again. So the one I had improved twice, the other I improved that one time. And she could see her doctor like the wheels turning and looking at her equipment with this sort of puzzled look like, how could I have been so off? So she said, I really like my doctor. So next time I see her when my vision has improved, I'm going to clue her in that I've been doing things to improve my vision. So she told me that mm, she would notice when she did the origins step that there would be sensation in her eyes and she realized that it was because of what her eyes had seen, traumas she'd experienced by things she'd seen with her eyes. Like she mentioned when she was a young child, her father was in the hospital and he was having spasms and she was actually seeing him on this table in the hospital out of control. So that was traumatic. Um, she also mentioned she had a thought that came up in one of those sessions, which was, I can't improve my eyesight with TAT, and the prescriptions are going to be expensive. So she threw that in. I just want to mention that because those kind of thoughts do happen. So just grab them and add them into your TAT pot. Don't try to push them away like, oh, I can't think negatively about TAT. Oh, oh. no, it's OK. Don't worry. Okay, so then I asked her what was her I choose statement. Her That statement was, I choose to have uncorrected 2020 vision in both my eyes. And when I asked her, what exactly did you put into the pot? Did you work on each of those 20 times? She said, well, I used what my master teacher told me, meaning me, which was the next biggest thing preventing me from having uncorrected 2020 vision in both my eyes. So she said, well, it was great to see. She said, it was interesting to see the results. And she also said, at this rate, by maybe a year, year and a half, I could have 2020 vision. So uh, there you go. Thanks for listening and see you next time.